two. Today, today I'm going to go over about this uh, ELM327 Mini. This is a Bluetooth uh, interface uh, support or OBD2 protocols. Uh, OBT stand for onboard diagnostic. If your car has a uh, check engine lights, come on. Uh, this will be the uh, only solution that you could uh, scan your uh, ERM, see what's wrong with your uh, car. I use this one to diagnostic my uh, Prius because it has a check engine code with a 1P1121 uh, something about the cooling coolant. So after I got that code, I researched online and then uh, uh, either the cooling was low or uh, one of the cooling uh, inverter was bad. And it turns out my cooling uh, uh, level was low at first and that solved the problem. But somehow later on the cooling inverter, it, it went bad because of the cold uh, came back. So I uh, I repaired by myself. I bought the parts on eBay and then uh, do all the labor myself. So first of all, before we go further, you need to uh, go and uh, download your uh, It's called, it's, it, the app is called Torque, T-O-R-Q-U-E. That will be the software that you need to sync uh, your uh, Bluetooth uh, and your phone with, with that software so you can communicate. You know what, what am I doing? Let me go to my Play Store. And just go search uh, T O R Q U E. If you like, you could go ahead and pay the four ninety five for the pro uh, version, but I don't. Uh, uh, I don't. I don't. I just uh, use a torque light edition. So just click on accept and then let it do the magic and then uh, let it install. And after that, you just uh, open it. And I will show you on the next step how to connect this uh, OBD to uh, dongle or so-called adapter to to the car. So after it's finished installing, just click on open. Okay. And they give you like a uh, display. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are like uh, seven screen. That you can set like uh, uh, customize your own display. So if you want, you can go to that setting here. Uh, if you have a full code, faulty code, you can show it, clear it and show pending fault or show historic fault 
if you have any errors on your engine or check engine and you can click on display you can add as a dial uh, graphic display there's a whole bunch of stuff that you can add okay so we need to go out to the car and then connect this uh, Bluetooth dongle the ELM327 in order to talk to your uh, smartphone okay so that's our next step and I'll, sh I'll sh see you shortly so here we are uh, in my car so this is the blue dongle the ELM 327 mini I'm going to show you the location normally the it's under the steering wheel so there you go that's the OBT2 connector all right So it's almost like a trapezoid shape and you want to line up the with your uh, Bluetooth and then uh, just uh, connect it in there. Just like that. Okay, make sure it's uh, in. So now you uh, go to your uh, phone, uh, make sure your car is, make sure your car is on. And go open that uh, torque software that you just download. Go to the setting and make sure you sync the uh, with your Bluetooth. Go to connection. Uh, go to your Bluetooth. Scan. It's right there. It should be one, two, three, four. The code. So it shows the uh, OBD2 uh, is paired now and you could go back to your uh, app, uh, the Torque app Let's see, uh, you can add the display you Go to dial you get those are the things that you could add but I believe if you pay the pro version there are more function to it so if you want to show the engine RPM you click on that you could select the size, small, medium, or large. I put a small. So if I wrap the engine, 
So you show the RPM. So there, there's a lot of display or dial that you could add to more to into the onto your screen. Engine uh, cooling temperature. You show your engine temperature. If you want to move around back and forth, you hold it down and click on move. This oh shoot. For example, you could click on uh, move display, and then you can maneuver around. Okay. And if you want to add another display in there, you could go ahead and do that. Let's go back to that uh, engine RPM. See? So now you got two uh, dials. So if you're gonna add more, you could keep on doing that. Let me delete that. So now you have like a three dial display, okay? If you don't want to overlap, you can hold it down and move the display again, however you want to position it on your screen, on your phone, okay? So this is my tutorial on this uh, ELM uh, 327 Mini. And if you got any question or comment, Please uh, like this video and subscribe. So, and if you or families or friends are looking into this dongle, it's pretty cheap. I bought it. Uh, things around like six or seven dollars on eBay. Versus, if you're gonna go out to the retail store and buy like a forty-five dollar up to seventy-eight dollar scanner, and you're just uh, wasting your money and throwing your money away and it's been pretty good to me and I fixed uh, my Prius uh, without going to the dealer and get ripped off so there you go so I'll see you on the next video guys so peace